today's art lesson, we are going to be discussing the principle of the negative space is every bit as important as the positive space, and perhaps even more so. Now, when I am talking about positive spaces, what in the world am I talking about? Well, what I'm talking about, for example, here on the screen, the positive space would be here with me in the foreground. This is the positive space. Now, what would be the negative space? Well, that's all this area here in my art studio in the background. It's the area around the positive space. Now, now why would I say that the, pos the, the negative space is every bit as important as the positive space? Well, the reason is because it adds interest and it can add depth and it can add uh, much better composition to your painting. Now, let me show you with an example here. Now, this is a painting of this baby. And this baby here, you can see that there is the positive space. Well, here he is with a hand. This is the first positive space that we have. The second positive space that we have here is this baby. Now, interestingly enough, we have two negative spaces in this uh, painting. We have, well, actually three by the time you count them all. There's this blue area over here, which is larger, interesting shape. And uh, then this one that's over here, which is smaller, still in interesting shape. You can see there's some complicated areas in here, or at least you know, outlines. And then what's interesting is we have another negative shape behind it, which is this white border. Now this white border starts around here, goes over here behind the head, comes back over here, and then back around by the hand. And what this white border does is it helps play up this negative space here that's blue, right here, and that uh, helps make it more obvious and more interesting. Now let me show you another example. Uh, playing up the negative space is one of the reasons why uh, you'll find very often that I use borders in my painting just because it makes it, it gives it more composition. I, I really go for a very deliberate composition when I do my paintings. And for example, this one here, positive space. Now this is me and my granddaughter, and she is the cutest thing you ever saw. Yeah, I know, I'm biased, I am, but she really is for real cute. Anyway, so here is, we have the positive space. That is myself and also my granddaughter. Now, negative space, well, it comes around behind us. And it's around here in this area, and it's all one big space, but notice that it is uh, it's an interesting shape. There, it's not a simple shape. It's got a lot of interest to it. And to help emphasize that shape, I have this border going around here and here and here on all these sides that goes behind everything. And it helps uh, help pull the composition all together on this painting and helps emphasize the negative space, which helps makes it a much more interesting uh, painting because it uh, brings out the positive space as well. Now, let's do something here that's on a, um, a much more simple painting. Now, let's take, for example, this portrait of this young man here. Now, simple enough portrait, okay, but it runs the danger of being boring if we don't do something interesting with it. So what I did is I had the young man stand kind of at an angle looking over uh, at the camera like so. So that way I had, I didn't have one of these frozen, you know, stuck in the middle, everything's the same on both sides type of a composition. And uh, so I've got him standing, looking off to one side a little bit, but then looking at the camera. And then what I have, and it's kind of hard to see, let me see if I can pull it up here. But you see his shoulder comes up here, the back area comes right around through here, comes down here. Now where it was even on the other side, now this comes over here farther and then it drops off at this end. So what we have here is an interesting shape here in the negative area. And uh, so it makes it a much more interesting composition rather than just have somebody who is staying there in the middle and just kind of looking at the camera like, okay, huh, here's my smile. No, you don't want that. Mm -mm -mm. Not unless you want it very, very deliberately, which is the subject of a whole different video. So what I want you to remember from this lesson is to be very aware of your negative spaces, whether you do something simple, such as, you know, something very simple, or you do something that's much more complicated, such as, as that. But always be aware of your negative spaces as well as your, or your positive spaces because they help make your uh, painting much, much more interesting. If you have any questions,
please use the comment area below where you can ask questions. I'll get to you as quickly as I can. And um, I hope you have a great day and see you again for another art lesson. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.